Okay, Big Brother live stream number four, and it was quite an interesting one. Lots of funny, weird stuff going on. I have to say, funny, weird stuff being the subject. Um, it, the stuff from the live stream yesterday didn't make it into the program. Remember, I told you we had this thing with this Shirley character who we didn't know who she or it was. I presume some sort of mannequin that never showed up. Then it was clear in the other live stream that. Martha was being upset by Rosie, that never materialised, so I don't know exactly what's being kept and what's being thrown away here, but clearly there's a lot of stuff that we're not being shown. Obviously it's their programme, they can do as they like, but I found it weird that that didn't even seem to make the live stream, and if it did it was very well covered up. But tonight we have the game they're playing for the shop, so we have two teams, one of whom are the camp, summer camp, organising team, and the others are the customers and they have to run a summer camp and the customers have to interact and there's two separate teams and here we have Khaled trying to reassure Nathan that there's no sort of game playing going on here even though it is a game. We had echoes of this in the previous live stream with Nathan complaining that people weren't prepared to just congratulate him for winning a game but I don't know if we ever found out what that game was but here we go Khaled talking to Nathan and Emma's nearby. <laughs> We're not against each other. I can promise you that. We're not against each other. Man. No, it's definitely team. If, if we were against, so we're all in a team. Team if we were against like the the crowd, here, why would we bring hand on foot and work so hard for it? Why do we start after six hours? Mm. No, I think it is a team effort. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Yeah. Dude, the I'm not, this is not my fear, this is not this. I've never watched a show. I'm not trying well, to. I think the staff are doing things that we don't That's know. Right. I'm too yeah. tired to try, like, I'm too tired to. No. I'm what, like, on my life. Once, once you see the end result, you'll know. And then okay. at least then, because well, we I understand you don't know, you don't know if my words go yet. So you're going to see if this is good. I'm not Which is great. No, 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 I it's great. It as, as he, he seems more like he likes to see the, the proof first. That's yeah. So, yeah. Which, I, mean, don't worry, I know you're not following me a lie, you're not trying to stop no, at all. No, no. So I just, I'm just wondering. Mm, you like to see proof first. You like to see. So, dude, yeah. dude, mm. wait till the end. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. And then we have Nathan further voicing his suspicions to Days and Emma about the fact that something's up and that they should be suspicious of the other team. That's that we are fucked, I'm telling you. I am absolutely certain of it. Really? There is something going on. They are so desperate to win this, it's not. If we win that, if we do this, then we are fucked. I think so. Like, Callan keeps trying to persuade us, he's like, yeah, like, blah, like, there's something going on. If they win, I think we're going to end up in trouble. They are trying to do whatever, I don't know what it is. But there's something going on. If they win the task, it's them show. that's on the task, not us. They're just like. This is why I was saying we should fuck it up earlier, but no one was that's listening why to I'm suspicious. I have no idea what it is. I've not. No, because I was like, let's all agree. I've got the premise of an idea. Today. Everyone drink water. I've got the more intelligent to people to finish it. Whatever you want to. You know what I mean? Let's just enjoy it. And then they were like really serious about it. Yeah. I was like, we're really probably fucked it up anyway. What's funny going on? Yeah. And then they chowing down on breakfast. You know what I mean? We really haven't fucked it up. Then we have Marcello talking to Lily about whether she's ready to be a backup dancer for whatever's coming ahead, which already sounds very suspicious. Are you ready to do this backup dance? Yeah. Are you ready to do this backup dance? Marcello, I'm going to be like this. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll try that. It's going to be hot though. Can... Uh, it might be alright. It's Marcello. No problem. Dean is obviously head rep in this camp, summer camp thing, and he introduces what the night is going to entail, which is going to be basically um, the camp reps performing, followed by a talent show from the Big Brother housemates, and a comedy roast that's going to happen also. your holiday going? How is it? You love it? You love it? You love it? You love it? You can smile. It's okay. She's loving it. She's loving it. Right. I have got the biggest show lined up for you on Coconut Island Resort. 
the best show. Yeah, we have yeah. got the best talent, including you lot, OK? Yes. It's a fully interactive, intermersive show. AJ and Will weren't available, so I was second option. <laughs> so they kick things off with a bit of dancing. We have uh, group dancing, followed by a conga line, followed by limboing. Sarah then decides to get up and do a rap, and it's it's a rap. Um, yeah, I mean, she does make a few digs at people. She calls Nathan Lord Farquhar, and they erupt with laughter. Now, obviously, this is just cut up from bits of audio that they actually let us hear on the live stream. This is a rap for our hotel guests. Oh. Each and every one truly the best. Oh. Hey. Well, okay. Mother in the pool going round and round. Showing us all in her dolphin sound. Hey. This is going to be Lord Farquhar. Hey. Okay, come on, last one, last one, last one. Okay. Sausage steel, a diamond in the rough. You look like a pop band to Ryan Fokker. Martha then stands up and does the Macarena. I mean, that's what Dean said she was going to do, and it looks like she is indeed doing that. We then have Ali's set piece, which is reading people's minds. And she has Martha and Dave's as her two people she's going to read the minds of and ask some questions. Now, this is quite long, this bit, but it, it does serve a purpose of some sort. Thanks. Which housemate do you find most attractive? Oh. Write it on your piece of paper. Okay. Oh. This is a very close question. I'm really so Okay, okay. I'm so hot, I actually can't believe you got this. Have you found that? No, 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 they did. They did. I'm going to understand this. This is going to change everyone's perspective. I know. They're going to be like, Ali knows us all. Have you mind been pre-selected? Like, have you mind been No, I swear, I swear, I swear. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, look at Daisy, it's flammable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they've got serious answers. Yeah, serious answers. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Serious answers. Yeah, I'm going to go to you first. Oh, okay. I agree. Ah, I agree. Wow. What? Fuck off. The adorable, the lovely, the funny, the bubbly Lily. No! 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 It was a tough, tough call. You had to think about that for a while before you picked him. Mm. There's quite a few. No, yeah. I'm going to rip this paper off. In the house, heartthrob. No. No! Is there a roll back there? Is there a roll back there? I'm sorry, I spelled your name wrong. Is there a roll back there? Oh. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Why should we get any applause? Is there a roll back there? 
Back up on stage. Back up on stage. No, Ali, I don't know. I need also, the PA resistance. Shed, don't worry, because I've asked the other team. So, we're gonna... <laughs> so you're safe, I'm not going to come forward. And why, like, it's time for my last no, question. He's, he's gone. He's left the building. Guys, this uh, is controversial. I don't get that. Right, here we go. This is not good. Oh, no, Let's mix it, it up a little bit. This is, this is going to be... Which housemate are you most likely to fall out with during your time in Big Brother? Oh, Say no. again. Oh. Which even if you change it, I'll still read the original thought because it's the first thought that came into your mind when I asked you the question. That's a great answer. That's actually good. I'm actually a bit scared of you. Okay, I'm going to come back to the other one. This is for psychologists everywhere who are sick and tired of being asked whether they can read my mind. Yes, we can. We've always been able to. It's just pretending. That we can. Okay. Really crazy. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Stop looking at it. Have you touched her edge yet? <laughs> Not yet. I think I know what you picked. Do you actually? Oh, she's she's she the Did you see that Do you actually? You're lying. Oh, don't piss me off. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll forgive you for it, but let me just see if we've got the same over here. I swear to fuck. Well, I also said I'll forgive you for it, you know. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Not Derek Kakora. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I've been doing a little bit too much this evening mm. because I'm freaking everyone out, and you think you're going to fall out with me. Fuck off! Oh! No, 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 Ali, sorry. No, no, no. We move on to the comedy roast section. Now, Nathan and Emma decide to get up and do a bit of roasting first. And Emma's actually pretty good going in on Marcello for his weird tight shorts and pointing other bits and pieces out. Hello, everybody! Hello. 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 So, so, we're here this evening. Hello! Now, the good thing with this is, if you don't enjoy it, what? Then you're fucking wrong. Uh, <laughs> no. Some of you are a little unfortunate looking, aren't you? Hey! Shall we go, shall we go a bit further? Shall we go ugly or shall we go unfortunate? Oh. I think let's just unfortunately I'm ugly. Talking, talking. Yeah, I love it. So yeah. we're going to demonstrate and then we're going to invite some of you, the less unfortunate looking uh, ones, yeah. to, to come and partake. And we're going to teach you. Hey. All right, Mike. <laughs> you know she's gone. I love Marcello. <laughs> but what fucking chest size are those shorts? <laughs> Ten to two, all fucking day. Ten to two. I've seen. Uh, I've seen what you had for breakfast. Oh my god. Fuck all. Been having smoked. Who else? Love, love, love. Sorry, just you two. Oh. <laughs> And then Shagan gets up and decides to do some roasting as well. Now, he goes in on Lily, and then he does see some other stuff, but it's actually quite hard to hear exactly who he's pointing at, because what happened on the live stream was, is while Shegs is talking, they cut to lots of pictures of jars and vases. So I didn't actually know who he was aiming it at. I'm not even sure they meant to leave this audio on, but it's there anyway. Oh, I can't lie, Sarah, there's nothing to say about you. Love is all good. I'm terrified, Lily, at 3 a.m. in the morning. Why don't you flip it over? That's something like that, it's it. I got something, whoa! To wake up, yeah? I got, you get where I'm coming from, obviously, yes. like. Like, obviously, like. You see that, like, you get it. And then we have the highlight of the whole evening, which I hope is going to be shown in all its glory tonight, and that is Marcello 
pretending to be Peter Andre. Now, um, he did mention his love of Peter Andre when he first came in, didn't he? Which I didn't understand. But yeah, he does. <laughs> he comes on stage pretending to be Peter Andre. He does uh, some dancing and singing, which we didn't hear. And he has Hannah, <laughs> Hannah and Lily as his backup dancers. And it, is it looks just awful, I've got to be honest. But what did slightly, I've got to be honest, slightly creep me out was the fact that Hannah and Lily were really going at it with the twerking. Now, firstly I thought, well, Hannah, should you be doing that? Because you, you are a Muslim, I'm not sure that's the kind of uh, behaviour they expect of you within the Islamic faith. I wouldn't know, I haven't read the Quran, I don't know what their rules are, but I certainly know from a Christian perspective that, yeah, we wouldn't really want that kind of thing. That's not to judge, I'm just saying. And then Lily, I kind of think, Lily, you're, you're very young. That's all I think when I see Lily, I just think you're really young, you're only 20. But hey, here's a tiny clip of them actually doing it, because obviously I can't show much, so I'll get done for copyright. We've got one more act for you. He is an icon of our time. A legend. He is a moment, he is a legend. This is going to be so iconic. He's very demure, he's not very mindful. <laughs> prepare for oil, prepare for backing dancers, and prepare for some abs, honey. Oh, I give you oh, none other than Peter Andre! Marcello's Peter Andre means it's the end of the night's festivities, so we move on to more serious stuff now, which is Nathan and Emma confronting Ali and asking her if her memory trick thing was all entirely fake and that she had already pre-planned it with Days and Martha. Your strawberry jack cream is off, not surprised you didn't drink it. That's it, not surprised you didn't drink it. I fucking loved it. Go on, check it. Do you mind, then we've got to go clean up as well. We've got to go clean up. I wouldn't wash the bed that bit. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I feel, oh, God, a bit of 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 a bit I don't think you did. Don't ruin the magic. Okay. Mm. Do you know, I'm funny with magic. I lo I'd love to believe magic. Well, I'd love to watch it. it. Yes, exactly. But <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Don't talk shite. Oh, a load of shite. <laughs> <laughs> I'd only believe it if it was ever done to me. If somebody did magic on me, right, then I'd, okay. like, I'd, I'd buy it. But Guess what food I'm thinking of now? I can't right now because I'm... Tomorrow morning she'll be able to do it. Yeah. She'll be able to guess I'm thinking of eggs and bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to predict people's futures and be a psych. Oh really? <laughs> That's that the only bit I've been to really? like. like Hand on head, I'm like, get your fucking hands off me. I know. I'm back on that soon. It's Peter! Lily, I need to see the six Then a brief conversation between Hannah and Lily, in which Ali admits that she was actually once a really big time atheist, and then gradually, as her life progressed, was seriously considering converting to Islam. Super, super, super atheist. Yeah. And then, like, over the years, there was, like, a slow progression into being more spiritual. I actually considered converting to Islam at some point. Really? Did a lot of reading, researching. Mm. Wow. Never went the full yeah. way. Yeah. 
It's crazy though because like when you was doing that, we have a theory and um, it's like a little fit. If you research it, you'll probably know where I'm coming from. But then after, I feel like that's a chat for another time, basically. Yeah. yeah because that the proper goes deep. And like, that's what we'll talk about for ages, <laughs> honestly speaking. But I hear it because it's like, especially if you're coming across like the spiritual realm, it's like you either go into religion or you go into spirituality sort of thing. And like, once you realise, oh shit, there's a fucking like spiritual realm which is rocking around basically. And it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Now another long-ish bit where we have Nathan and Ali and Hannah all in the bedroom. Now, is this a rule break? They are talking about the difficulty of nominations and Nathan is once again airing his suspicions and they're talking about how they can or can't hold grudges and it's a, just an interesting conversation. I think they're getting very eager about voting. That is Ali and Nathan, whereas Hannah's far more conflicted about the whole thing. Are they happy with this all getting on? That's what I'm confused about. Like, are they like, yeah, this is good, everyone's getting on, and they're like, no, this is fucking horrific. I reckon they're chilling because they know it won't last. That's true, actually, yeah. They put us yeah. under stress for long enough. Of course, we, you know, we're going to have that's the odd bullshit. rupture. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah. they'll be worried. They'll just be thinking. <laughs> but you know what's my problem? Like, my whole thing is, I'll find it so hard to even, like, go into that room and say a name, like, honest to God. Because, like, if I have, like, an issue with someone, like, I'll, like, you, like, like... We'll talk to them about it. Yeah, like, I will, like, if it's something that makes me, like, so emotional, I'll just, like, cry for, like, be in my emotion. Then after, I'd be like, fuck it. Like, have a chat with someone, and then after, I'd be like, fuck it. It's better for me to, like, speak to a person directly about it. And for me, I'm not a person which, like, holds grudges. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, my whole thing. Like, I don't like holding grudges against someone, so it's going to be, like, so difficult. And I don't know how I'll cope with that other situation. <laughs> Can't relate. I, I fucking love it. Holds a grudge like I a grudge. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> love holds my grudge me, so holds I do. Holds a grudge like an absolute truth. Yeah, and, and do you not? Do you? Take it to my grave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like that. Don't get I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Literally. No, but there's some people that actually like that. Like, I've got friends no, which I like, actually hold grudges. Grudge, but, like, if somebody annoys me, then I, I'm not going to struggle to nominate, I don't think. Um, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just the contrast. You're like... It'd be so hard to nominate. Yeah, I'd be so emotional. I'm not going to struggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. It's but you're not either. You're not going to struggle. No. You're not. No. You're going to just... No, I'll just do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cold. Cold, okay. calculated. No, but the, you know what it is? Some people are like that, and that's okay, regardless of the end of the day, like, because we're all individuals. Yes, that's right. Everyone Honestly. Knows. You just can't think about it too much. No. Yeah, and that's going to be hard. We I don't know, think hard. We all know what we signed Cause, off for. Because in my yeah. mind, like, we're here to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just a game. And genuinely, there's no one at the moment that I would, you know, hate. No. Like, so it would never come from that place. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, who you maybe, I don't know, thinks the least. Genuine, that's what I, how I look at it probably because that's my one big thing, and yeah. I've said that all throughout the process. Same, I, said, I don't well, like it when not, people are not authentic, not authentic, not genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. true to them, and that's, that's where I will nominate from without it. Same, so, yeah, uh, which, yeah, I've got opinions on it, but I don't know yet, so we'll see. Interesting, yeah, yeah. suspicions, curious <laughs> and curious. I think I'm curious too, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a nosy little bitch. I want to know who you think is not genuine. <laughs> Authentic. No, I don't. You're like putting words in my mouth. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just. I've got. Uh, I don't know. Let's, I don't know. We'll see. See what I think. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What does Nathan think? Mm -hmm. You don't. You should know. Go tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Try to touch dead. Yeah, exactly. We'll go on then. Touch my head and tell me then. Go on. <laughs> no, no, you're off the map with that one. No. I think you're off the first, map. It's the first time you've got it. Back in the kitchen where Marcello is having to clear up and wash up as part of his duty, Izanz comes up to him and congratulates him on his Peter Andre effort. But then also it goes a bit weird where he says that. He, at one moment he did get up and dance with Rosie, and Izanz says, oh, you know, Rosie loved touching you and putting the oil in, and I thought. I don't know if she did. Did she? I, I don't know. But 
In light of what Marcello said yesterday in the diary room about all the girls he fancies, I kind of think it's getting a little bit... Do you know what I mean? People have said on social media, Marcello needs to remember he's on Big Brother, not Love Island. And he is being quite Love Islandy, but also being a bit leery sometimes as well, which I don't like. So you've got to remember, dude, Lily's 20, yeah? She's, tw she's really young. You know, if Rosie likes him, then that's Rosie's thing. But, you know, I just... I, I don't know whether that was a... Anyway. But also, Marcello keeps going on about how Big Brother has rattled him. And I don't understand what he means by that, because he's going to repeat it in a minute. He says, oh, Big Brother has rattled me. Does he mean Big Brother's rattled him because he did the Peter Andre impression? Or has Big Brother rattled him because he did something else that we don't know about? Fair play, bro. Thank Fair you, bro. Like, the balls to do that, mate. Fucking right. classic. Mate, that's... And the fact that you chucked the oil on yourself, and you have absolute... Okay, it on it, then. And then you got, who was it, two yeah, brother yeah, Rosie. Rosie, exactly. That's she was loving that, bro. Thing. She was, like, touching all of them pictorials and everything, bro. Oh, man. The obliques. I need to get gassed up. Brother, trust me, brother. I loved it, man. I need that, bro. I'm not even guessing. Swear, if you came up to me, bro, I'd be there rubbing that oil, bro. Shit. I honestly don't nothing. Everyone loves it. We can put them back in the story. Emma and Nathan reflect on their roast, and I think Emma's a little bit nervous that she may have offended some people. Now, of course, we didn't see people's reactions to all the roasts that happened tonight, so it could be in tonight's episode that their reactions are far more serious and severe than we were ever shown on the live stream. <laughs> oh, I love it. I said a few things today that I think maybe I should have said I was a bit like that. I've, been, I've kind of come out like, I'm, not that I was ever in my shell, but yeah. you know what I mean? Just kind of about I said that. that to our, our, my G as well. Oh. I was like, at first, like, it was just, but he's come out of his shell now. Mm -hmm. I said, I never had a shell to begin with. No, but. I didn't. No, you didn't. You had a little shell. Yeah, I was and a mess, kind of. fucking obliterated. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm being glad, myself now. I'm glad to be a part of that obliteration. <laughs> You've encouraged it. Oh, Welcome to God. No, no, that's true. Like, the I'm first like, few days I came out, I was a bit like, kind of, fucking hell, this is a bit mad. See, but now I I'm like, try, you know, I try to be. I'm like, no, we're going in, we're going to be like aloof and a bit mysterious and a little bit sexy. But that's not what you're like, though, is it? I'm like, hey, oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Like, you're not aloof. You're not mysterious. <laughs> you're just. That's it. Like, it is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. Shit's what it is, it's fucking... And then we end this live stream with this conversation between Rosie and Marcello, in which, I don't know, does Rosie fancy him? Because she is behaving in a rather odd way around him and talking about how great his Peter Andre was. So maybe, maybe she does. I think she <laughs> My head's gone. They probably rattled me for no reason. I was feeling so good before. You. No, you are, no, this is, this is everything. Shut you down, don't man. even understand. Down, nah, it's genius. It was actually genius. <laughs> genius is great. I put your vest and all. I was like, what are you doing? Moral support. Literally, honestly, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You're a fan, yeah. I literally am. Like, I'm a, if you do that, like, if you go around, if like, you're a fan, like, you need to ask yourself I, some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he takes normal milk, innit? Uh, yes. Did he, he, um, he likes it, that, and he wanted, um, he wanted one little sugar. One yeah. little sugar, oh. Thank you, love. Sorry? Yeah, I'm finished. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> He's time travelling right now. <laughs> soul left the body, he couldn't take it. Hey. My soul left my body, he couldn't take it. I'm just a shell. That's about all I could glean from it today, guys. It was a long live stream. I did manage to capture all of it. Haven't seen any bits of them actually going to sleep yet. So maybe they're still awake. I'm sure they're awake now as we speak, doing something absolutely ridiculous. But let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you think is going to make the final cut tonight. Um, yeah, and we'll talk and we'll converse and we'll discuss. And thanks as always for watching and keep on watching and have a lovely day. Bye.